I love it when the students can get to the point where they know as much as I do, if not more. And then I can start watching them teach other people, patients, doctors, nurses, to do the same thing. I, I was so proud of them because we had a call from the national organization level, ASHP, that they wanted to know about um, progressive practice initiatives that health system pharmacists were doing. And I had just in passing talked to a few of the SSHP students, uh, some of the officers and some of the students that had stayed after during one of our local SSHP meetings. And I had mentioned, well, you know, we've got this vaccine thing we're doing, we're dealing with the opioid epidemic. And then I had mentioned that one of our current P4 students, Nikki Griffith, had really worked hard to implement pharmacist-driven penicillin on your skin testing at Palmetto Health Richland. And that is very innovative because we were the first um, pharmacy group in the state where the pharmacists actually perform the skin test in the hospital. So if you're looking for like progressive practice initiatives, that definitely fits the bill. And so the students thought about it for a while, and then our current chapter president, Olivia Allawine, came to me and said, can you give me more information about that penicillin allergy thing? That sounded kind of cool. And I said, sure. So I emailed her and a few of our other SSHP members with um, a podcast that I had just done with a different organization, SIDP, talking about penicillin allergy and the new curriculum that um, Dr. Bookstaver and Dr. Rack um, and Dr. Martis were putting together for this same type of initiative. In that curriculum, they're actually teaching other healthcare providers to do the penicillin allergy skin test reconciliation and testing. And so there's a lot of different things in different areas that are all coalescing around the same topic, but we hadn't yet done anything about educating patients. And so that's what our SSHP chapter wanted to focus on. They said, how do we do that? Uh, we think we can go, we're already going to talk to the community for vaccinations in November. Can we put something together and share that table and also talk about penicillin allergy? I said, of course you can. It's up to you guys. And we only had like three weeks to put it all together. They had a beautiful handout that they made. They set up this fancy QR code and this chic little business card that they wanted to give to patients. Um, they made the trifold to set up on the table. They wanted me to bring my giant microbes, which I was happy to do. Um, and yeah, they put it all together. They showed me what they had. I gave them some edits and they made it all happen. So it was, we looked very professional. Everybody showed up in their white coats and I think we were pretty like eye catching. You could see patients, uh, just regular community members walking around in Soda City with their dog, with their family. And then you'd see them walking by like reading the poster and wondering what it was about. And our students jumped in there and took that opportunity to educate folks. Do you know anyone with penicillin allergy? And they would say, oh, I have one, or oh, my daughter has one, or oh, my, my dad said he was penicillin allergic and he's in the hospital now. So um, it was very, it was very motivating to see how quickly our students were able to get up to speed on the topic, what they were able to put together, even as they were learning it themselves, and then how they started to master the content when they were counseling folks in the community. And of course, Dr. Rack and I were there to help support for some of the tougher questions, but we were, um, interestingly enough, we actually had an anti-vaxxer that came up to the girls um, that were talking about vaccinations and they handled it very professionally, very well, respected his opinions, asked him questions about what he thought. And, um, he kind of conflated penicillin allergy and vaccination and they were able to kind of separate the issues and give him some information. Um, so yeah, we just served as a resource. And to hear the patients thank the students was one of the best parts. They're like, thank you so much for being out here and talking to them. They're based on the ideas that the students themselves were um, bringing up as we were doing it and afterward. Um, 
my my read was they were very engaged and interested in it, which was great to see. <laughs> so if I had one word to describe um, Saturday, I would say inspired. I think our patients were inspired. I think I was inspired. I think the students built their own confidence in what they can do and the impact they can make. So I think all around, everyone was like, yeah, we should, we should do this more. I'm very proud of you. And I think you made a big difference in the lives of the patients that you spoke to.